Uh, great to see you again yesterday. Uh, let's just take a little look at the areas we covered during your session. First of all, we discussed getting your knees a little bit more out at address, not quite as not need at address. This in turn is going to give you a little bit more stable leg action during your golf swing. Having said that, the big issue comes from you having a little bit too much arm swing as you approach the top here. Good position at that point, shaft just short of parallel, club head above your hands, plenty of width at the top of your backswing, you're good to go. Unfortunately, we go along with the arms, and what happens is, as we go along with the arms, we're pushed onto the left side. We get too much onto the left side early, this causes us to get ahead of the shot in the downswing, and then we back up on the way through. You can see there as the club passes your hands. So the way we illustrated this was to put a triangle in place and we use Paul Casey as an example and what we're going to see with Paul Casey is a nice wide short backswing where the sternum moves behind that triangle and you can see that even with driver the shaft is a little bit short of parallel you can see it's loaded behind that balanced triangle at the top of his backswing. If we compare that to what we see with yourself here on the left We're going to see a good move behind it initially, loading the right side well, and then as you get into that position now, the arm swing goes too long, the shaft gets too long, and you're pushed back onto that triangle a little bit too much with your sternum. So from now on, you're going to be ahead of it, and you're going to be steep as you're coming into the golf ball. The drill we're going to use to get rid of this is the one where you put your foot up against the, the left foot up against the wall as you can see here below on the bottom left and make some swings stopping the golf club touching the wall on the way back and you can see there how much shorter you are in the shaft at the top of your backswing and how much better you've maintained your width as well as staying behind this balanced triangle for longer during your backswing not a hint of sitting on top of it though. This is going to allow you to make a good strong move into your left side during your downswing. If we take a, look, a little look after several minutes of working on that drill, what effect it had on your goal swing. If we look down here bottom right, what we're going to see is a top of the backswing position that's sort of a compromise between where you are and where you need to be. We're definitely better in the knees there at address. You can see you're just moving them out. Good move behind. You can see there the shaft reaches parallel, it doesn't go past parallel which is great. As a result we don't go back onto the tip of that triangle at the top. We're in a position now where we can move into without getting ahead of that triangle. Now there still are things in there that you're going to have to let the dust settle on such as the backing up and flipping of your hands as you come to impact. In time as you improve this position and you arrive more in that position at the top with the 7 iron, the hand actions are going to calm down much, much more, and you're going to have a much more stable club face to impact. Overall, though, Mike, good improvement. I think the penny dropped in regards to what you've got to do with your golf swing, and I'm sure if you work at that, as suggested, for a couple of weeks, get yourself booked in. We're going to see a massive improvement in your overall ball striking. Well done, and keep me informed. Bye-bye.